Some of the common hazards that have been reported regarding drop side cribs are when there's a broken or missing piece of hardware. This allows the drop side to move out of place and a gap opens up into which a child can get stuck and be in danger of suffocation. Uh, this crib is a safety hazard because the drop side has been installed upside down, which increases the chance that these plastic brackets will break and could open up a hazardous gap that the baby could get trapped in. When a child is placed in the crib or left unattended, raise the drop side into its highest position until it's locked in place. When the child is able to roll over, the mattress support should be lowered to its lowest position to prevent them from falling out. To make sure you're following the manufacturer's safety instructions, regularly check your crib to make sure you have no loose or broken parts and that all other movable parts of the crib are functioning normally and that the drop side will stay in its highest position when you raise it. Consumers should consult Health Canada's Consumer Product Recall Database to see if their product has been recalled. Look for your specific manufacturer and if you encounter any problems with assembly or uh, performance of your crib, you should always contact the manufacturer for instructions on what recourse to take and how to uh, get replacement parts or fix the problem.